some of the information that we're going to try to cover in this this few moments together. A uh, reminder that uh, we are looking for all of our people to get out to the polls and vote. Uh, how many? How many have already voted? How many have already? All right, all right. We got almost a hundred percent of the noonday crowd. Amen. That's real good, real good. If you haven't voted, make sure we get to the polls and vote. And if you've voted already, make sure you get someone else out to the polls and vote. We have, we have uh, been getting people to the polls. We had some folk to vote for the very first time in their life, and uh, that that is that is amazing and wonderful. It's not an indictment on anybody. Hey, it's better better to do it now than never to do it. Amen. So we are, we're excited about them that got out to the polls and voted, and we ask that you would do so do so over the next day or so. Uh, all second of all, we're asking all of our membership to help us, uh, First Lady, with the candy situation. If you could, if you could bring some as we prepare, uh, she and Elder Roberts are preparing for our young people for uh, the 30th, which is next Tuesday. And we are, we're asking for you all to help us to help us with that. And third of all, the marriage conference is going to be on November 3rd and asking anyone is open to all that are married, aspiring to be married, got boyfriends, whatever you want to call them, amen, uh, looking for a man, however you want to put it, uh, but we want you to come and share with us. I told you we were going to close out last week. I still didn't finish, so I'm going to try my best. I had a young lady call me and tell me, Bishop, you have been saying you were going to give us what the ites were. You haven't done that yet. I've been preaching this for maybe six weeks, and I haven't done that. So we're gonna we're gonna peruse a few things, close this out, and I promise you, I'm gonna give you the ites today. I promise you, Amen. If I be a man to God, I'm gonna give you the ites today. Hallelujah. Yeah, that means I can't lie today. I can't lie. I can't lie. We we've been we've been looking at this. We've been looking at this um, exposing the enemy. And there are a couple small things I want to share out of the scripture. And then we're going to give you what those ites are and close close this out. You, you have to understand that when we look at God and who he is and how powerful he is, we have to remember that he's given us strength to overcome the enemy. And, and there is some there is a battle that's going on. You will, if you'll quickly just flip to Ephesians 6, there is a battle that's going on. This has been our core scripture. There's a battle that's going on, and that battle is not against people, right? The battle is not against people. The battle is a spiritual battle, according to Ephesians 6 and verse number 10, I think it is. Ephesians 6 and 10, it lets us know that we're wrestling not against flesh of flesh and blood, but against principalities, right? We're, fi we're fighting against powers that are unseen. Now, when we, look at, when we look at that possibility, we have to remember that as we are, we're battling, if we can get rid of our, uh, our, our uh, desire to fight people, look at verse number 10, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. That lets us know that our fight is going to have to be with something other than our own strength right can't be our strength you got to put on the whole armor of God that you might be able to stand against the wiles of the devil for you're wrestling out against flesh and blood against principalities against powers rules of darkness against where high place for I want you to know he's saying put on the whole armor um, because there is there is a bunch of things that we're battling against that that you and I are not going to be able to defeat on our own all right, so you got to grab that first of all. Then, then, and when we, there, there's one piece I want you to grab, and then I'm going to move to the different, different heights. That is, this, this, this fear that we have is, can, can be combated by the angels that are being, that have been put in place for us. According to Psalms 91, that Lord has given angels charge over. So when you can't see, when you all, all we're looking at, lest all we see is the enemy. But we have to remember behind the enemy, there is a there is a cadre of angels that is already guarding for us. So when we are battling, 
we got to make sure that we understand that there is something that we can't see you can see you can't see the enemy is battling because the enemy is working through folks and you can't see you can't see the angels but they're there and they're working for God now where, where does the fear come from is where I'm trying to get to where does the fear come from there there is a fear factor and where it comes from turn in your Bibles to Psalms 8 turn to your song, Psalms 8 there is a fear factor that we all have and I'm on, I, I know this is going to sound strange to you, but stick with me for a second Psalms 8 and 3 when, when I consider the heavens the work of thy finger the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained what is man that thou art mindful of the son of man that thou visited for thou hast made him a little lower than the angels alright and hast crowned him with glory and with honor a little old lower than the angel means that I'm a little lower than God God has given me power and I need you to get this I need you to get the fact that God made you a little lower and that means that you and I have some strengths look at verse number 5 for thou has made him a little lower than the angel verse number 6 thou has made him to have dominion over the works of thy hands and thou has put all things under his feet the works of his hands some of the works of God's hands are found where in verse number 3 look at verse number 3 when I consider thy heavens the works of thy finger the moon and the stars which thou has made so for he has considered the heavens the works of thy fingers and I'm telling you that the stars are the works of God's hand and he put whatever he worked and he put it in the hands of man alright so we have authority all the way up through the universe and verse number 6b is where I want to get you, get you to see thou has put all things somebody say all things all things where under your feet so that, that, that there's nothing there's nothing when we talk about all things there's nothing that should be blocking you so why have we been acting like we scared I'm, I, that's, I went through all of that to show you God gave us power over it all why have we been acting like we're scared let me tell you why we're scared cause we watch stuff like the exorcist that's why we're scared and, 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 and the man, he's standing up there like this with no power and that little thing spinning his head around and spitting green gook out of his mouth. Are y'all in here? Y'all acting like y'all don't ever get scared. Don't, don't, don't get it twisted. Sometimes we are afraid. And I know we're afraid. You don't believe it? I tell you what, let me carry y'all into a little old house down in Medoc, out in the woods where nobody is, and in the middle of the night, and I say, woo hoo, you out there by yourself. I'm talking about out in the wooded area where there's no, take you over in Battleboro, where there's nobody out there in the middle of the night when a little old creaky house and you hear a few noise, I bet you you will run out of there like you have lost your mind. I bet you. Now I'm talking about children of God now. Children of God. Why would you run? You, you, you're, you are a child of God. You are in a house and you're not afraid of ghosts and goblins. But why would you run? Because of what you have heard and because of what you have felt, what, what you have seen on television and that stuff gets in your spirit. You believe in haunted stuff not because of the Bible because the Bible tell you ain't no ghosts and goblins <laughs> the only reason we struggle with it is because we see it on TV hallelujah and the people, everybody around you they look like they, they strong in the might they got on the whole arm of the God this morning but it listen I, I know some people at this church right now they will not come in this church by themselves in the sanctuary Hallelujah. They will not. <laughs> they, the church folk now, they will not come in the sanctuary by themselves. And, and, and no, don't say nighttime the other day. Not night. I'm talking about in the broad daylight. Forget the nighttime. Forget the nighttime. And, and the, 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 Lord, the, listen, I'll, even our folk, I'm, you know, my folk, that when there's a funeral here and they, they working on that end. In the body on this end. <laughs> they ain't coming around here by themselves. <laughs> you think Miss Sadie coming around here by herself? The devil is alive. <laughs> you think they coming? They not. Why? 
because because we have allowed what happens what happens on television to get in our spirits and somehow we got to let God's power get in our spirits and then nothing will let them have us afraid of anything but we are afraid because we've allowed the things that we see to dictate how we're going to travel in life. And God is saying, that ain't nothing but a spirit of the enemy. And it's time for us now to put on the whole armor and not be scared. Amen. I'm not scared of dead bodies. I'm not scared of dead bodies. Not me. Mm -mm. I ain't scared. They ever ask me at Ivory Hill, I'd be in that church by myself. I'd be downstairs by my you that church by yourself. I ain't worried about the folk that gonna hurt me. I ain't I ain't them dead folk. Folk trying to kill me, Charlene, and them folk that's alive. <laughs> these folk walking around, these the folk that gonna kill you. Dead folk ain't gonna bother you. They dead. Hallelujah. You stop, you stop watching that mess on TV, that stuff won't get in your spirit. Y'all don't want to help me today, so let me move on. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 this is the thing you got to remember. Fear comes because you don't know who you are. Fear comes when you don't know that you're surrounded by angels. Fear comes because you don't know that the demons can't attack you because you have a, a, you have a mechanism in you that puts the enemy on the run. The devil is a liar. And you can bind them up if you want to, but we got to do it. What the scriptures say, the violent, take it by what? By force. You got to bind it up. And, and I'm not asking the devil to get out of here. I'm telling him it's time for him to get out of my life. Are y'all with me in here? I'm not asking permission for my stuff. I'm telling him it's my stuff and I want it back. Now y'all here today. I, I'm, I'm letting him know. I'm letting him know I'm getting ready to start calling stuff back to me that's mine anyhow you understand me say I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to say money money cometh I, I'm declaring that wherever I put my foot is mine whatever I lay my hands on is mine wherever I walk into is mine are y'all in the house today you cannot be afraid and one of the one of the things let, let's go to the Hittites one of the things go to the to the ice one of the things that we allow the enemy to do is because they are occupying the land we won't tell them it's time for them to go turn to Deuteronomy turn to Deuteronomy it's time for the enemy to go time for him to go it's time for him to go because it is yellow day it is not that I'm I gotta ask him for it because it ain't his are y'all following me here? It'd be one thing. See, see, if if you come to church, if if Robert got on this coat, this is her coat. If she laid this coat down, somebody picked this coat up, and she know who got the coat. She going to get her coat. Right? Because it's her coat, Shanette. And if it's her coat, then she gonna get it. If you know you got ownership of something, you are not supposed to sit idly by and let somebody have your stuff. Amen. I told my daughter came home the other day. I, I, know, I know she ain't she here today. She came home the other day. Said, Daddy, this little girl took my M and M's on the bus. I said, Well, why she get them? Well, I had them in the bag. I thought I had both of them. Got school on there, and I got and I got home, and she took, she called me. I said, "Well, I'm going on the bus." She told me, "Daddy, don't go on the bus." I bought them M and M's. <laughs> Are y'all with me in here? Them was my M and M's. <laughs> Does it make sense to y'all? It'd be one thing if the m and belong to the little girl, but them on her m and them, them was my m and Right? And I gave them to my daughter for her to have her m and And so them m and belong to her, so it ain't right for the little girl to be on the bus passing out m and that ain't hers. Help me in this play. And I ain't going to tell y'all what I told her to do the next time they take them. Lord help us in I'm trying to stay safe, Miss Burt, but the next time I told her, sometimes the, the violent take it by force. 
Lester, I'm sorry, Lester, pray for me. I, hey, man, let me move on. Go to Deuteronomy because that's going to make me holler. I'm trying to help you to understand whenever something is yours, don't sit idly by and let the enemy take what's yours and act like it's theirs. Because when the, when in, in um, oh, where am I going? In De let me turn to Deuteronomy first, but then we go into Numbers because because when we look at when we look at what is what is actually ours they they are in the land i cannot argue with you there they are in the land but the land does not belong to them that that's the thing that you got to see they are in the land but the land does not belong to them ah oh, let me see if i can find my spot here deuteronomy 11 turn to deuteronomy 11 Deuteronomy 11 and 22. For if you shall diligently keep all these commandments, which I command you to do, to, to do them, to love the Lord thy God, walk in all his ways in the Cleveland, then the Lord will drive out. Lord, thank you. All these nations from before you, and ye shall possess greater nations and mightier than yourself. Every place wherefore the souls are. See, you got, to, you got to get his commandments first. You got, what, what are we talking about? You can't be afraid. First of all, you got to take on this spirit that says they, that, that is mine. You got to take on it. Take on that commandment. Every place where your foot, your soul shall, of your feet shall tread, shall be yours. In the wilderness of Lebanon, from the, from, from the river and the river Euphrates, even unto the uttermost sea shall your coast be. There, here's my verse. There shall be no man, there shall no man be able to stand before you. For the Lord your God shall lay the fear of you and the dread of you upon all the land. And that shall, see folk, if you grab God's spirit, folk will get off of you. you they, they'll get out of your face if you get God's spirit on you, y'all. See, you, it, 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 see it, it doesn't come down to necessarily to, to some physical confrontation because they already know by your posture. People know by the way you, where you stand and look. They ain't going to too easily come bothering you. Hallelujah. You, you don't even look like folk that need to be bothered with. Are y'all here? See, see this, is, this, is not, this is not a request. See, you, you, can, you can understand here this is where I want to do when you when you go and you go into the land there's gonna be some folks stronger than you but you got to go in there and get your stuff anyway but 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 there there is this is your stuff he said the wealth of the wicked are laid up for who laid up for the just this is your stuff amen this is your stuff here, here is what I believe the enemy is not making any more progress except through the people of God the only way he's moving forward is through us. When, when Pharaoh had the children of Israel in bondage, how did they build the city? They built it with God's children. Let me, bring, let me say that again. They were in bondage. How were they building the cities? They were using the Israelites, the children of God, to build their cities. Oh, Lord, I... I think I got the wrong crowd. Can I, can I make it plain to you? The only way the enemy going to get to the next level is if you let him use you to do his stuff and then he going to take it. But if we stand and say, you know what? No, you're not going to use me. Or, or when he's doing it, let him do his thing. When he finished building the mansion, then I'm going to take it over. Uh-huh. When he get the cars and the houses and the promotion and get it set up, then I'll show up and declare you living in the wrong house. You with me? I'm you driving the wrong car. Let him put it, let him put his let him put his uh put the best, drive the best cars, get him in his garage, then you show up and, and take it over. That, that, that's not the only instance in Israel. Jacob was working for Laban. How, when did the sheep grow? How did they prosper? Only when Jacob was there. 
I'm trying to show you your presence is the only reason that things are prospering wherever you are on your job in your family you are the constant factor that's keeping that thing from crumbling and going under and so I'm, I'm trying to let him know that why it is because because there was a special unction on the life of, of Jacob there was a special unction on the life of of uh, of Moses and and don't don't let's not let's not call Joseph Joseph was in prison and right and and the king was in trouble what did he do he called he called for him to come and give him the information uh, or, or, or what are you saying the 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 ites have the stuff and it's time for us to take the stuff back all right let me show you what the ites are since y'all kind of quiet today let me show you what the ites are. The ites got a spirit of control. What is the first? Let me give you, y'all got the paper with the ites on it? Jebusite are the ones that create worry, anxiety, try to keep you out of, keep you under control, keep your thoughts, keep you emotionally drained. That's a Jebusite. Folk that constantly want to stay in your face with junk. That's a Jebusite spirit. If they, uh, every time they show up, they they never come. Uh, so, so they never come, with, Sister Durant, with no positive anything. Every time a Jebusite spirit show up, they come with drama and gossip and foolishness. That's a Jebusite spirit. Hallelujah. Y'all ought to think about 20 folk y'all know like that already. 50 folk, y'all got 30, 40, 50 folk. Every time that the main objective is to come and try to make you quit. And I came to let them know, Sister Bert, the devil is a lie. Nobody is going to make us quit. Nobody is going to make you give up. That's a, somebody say that's a Jebusite spirit. Now that, that Jebusite spirit, that that, that 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 spirit, that spirit is the kind of spirit that wants, yes, it wants your stuff and it's gonna use, it's gonna use every piece of trauma it can to get you to give your stuff up. The devil is a lie. Now all farms, I can't let them have my stuff. They can't have my stuff. And they might as well take the drama somewhere else. Cause I'm not gonna deal with that. Amen. Second, second, second spirit. We got we ain't got but a few minutes. Second spirit is the parasite spirit. That is a robbing spirit. It means to dwell in unwalled cities. It comes to steal. You, you have to gain some ground and it comes to steal your ground. Every time you step forward, it tries to push you back. This, this spirit is a spirit of retaliation and as soon as you cast it out it tries to find its way back you get rid of it out of you and it'll show up in your children you get rid of it out of your children it'll show up on your job every time you turn around it's trying to steal your not just your, your, your physical stuff but it wants to steal your joy you want to steal your peace and your understanding. I, I'd rather have peace than a bucket of money. Y'all in here with me today, just give me a night of rest sometime. Without a whole lot of folk calling me with crazy things. I, that, that kind of spirit is the kind of spirit that want to rob you of every little time that you got to yourself. You, you, every time you read your Bible, here they come. The phone ringing with drama. You trying to study the word and here they come. Oh God, that's a robbing spirit. It ain't gonna always rob your money. It'll rob your time. Amen. I'm trying to give y'all some spirits. Or oh, do y'all recognize any of them? Have y'all seen them lately? Yeah, somebody in here seen them. Yeah, they're trying to find a way back. Here, here, here's your here, here's the third spirit. The the Hivite, the Hivite, Hivite spirit is a villager. Wickedness, spirit of deception. Uh huh. Oftentimes it comes in the form of a spirit of seduction. Uh huh. It causes you to simply get rid of things like your money. Y'all better help me. 
get rich schemes are spirits of Hivites. Par uh, 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 what are these things? Pyramids. Jones. Y'all know who Jones is, don't you? That was a spirit, y'all. And some of y'all act like y'all don't know. He he hoodwinked a whole lot of folk in Rocky Mountain. Yeah. Yeah, y'all better act like y'all know who Jones is. Yeah, that was a that was a Hivite spirit. He seduced folk out of their money. Yeah, and then then all of a sudden now he in prison and nobody don't know where none of the money is. Oh God, that's a that's a spirit, y'all. Yeah, pat, pat, they, they, no, you know these these pyramids, Sister Brown, that that money making get rich overnight scheme. That and can I tell y'all, none of them don't work. Whenever folk come to you with an overnight scheme of getting rich, you better go the other way. None of it don't work. None of it don't work. Yeah, not meant to work that way. Not meant to work that way. The only thing that's going to get you there, and, and this, this is the kind of spirit that hovers over the church. Can I tell you another piece of it? This kind of spirit hovers over the church, and it, and it gets on folk not wanting them to give in the church. Yeah, if you're not a tither, you got a Hivite spirit. Mm -hmm. Everybody got quiet then. Yeah, you got a Hivite spirit. Yeah, yeah, look at your neighbor. Don't say nothing to them. Just look over at them. They, they might have a Hivite spirit. Yeah, yeah, they, got a, they, got, they, 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 they don't understand the law of reciprocity, which means that whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And we're not always just talking about money. Let's talk about how we act to one another. It's a Hivite spirit when you can't be nice. It's a Hivite spirit when you always got a sourpuss look. It's a Hivite spirit when you always sitting around with an agenda and an assignment. It's a Hivite spirit when you always somebody stabbing folk in the back. Because whatever a man soweth, that's what he's going to reap. Hivite. I'm trying to give y'all some spirits in here. Yeah, the Hivite. Turn, turn to Joshua right quick. Woo, God, don't make me preach in here today. Don't make me preach. Yeah, it, 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 this, 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 is a, this is a scheme. It is a scheme. Look at Joshua 9. And it came to pass, verse number 1, when all the kings were, were on the side of Jordan, the hills and the valleys and in the coast and the great sea over against Lebanon, the, the, the Hittite and the Amorite and the Canaanite and the Perizzite and the Hittite and the Jebusite heard thereof and they gathered themselves together to fight with Joshua and with Israel with one accord. I want you to see this. I want you to see this now. Do, do you see all the demons came together trying to bind themselves up with Joshua? Uh-huh. Y'all missed that. See, you got you to gotta make sure. Look at verse number three. And all the inhabitants of Gimeon heard what Joshua had done in, in Jericho and Ai and did willingly work and went and made as made the ambassador and took old sacks upon their asses and wine bottles old and rent and bound and old shoes and clouded upon their feet and old garments upon them and the bread and provision was dry and molded and they went to Joshua and to listen to what they said in the, uh, the camp of Gilgal and said unto him and the, to the men of Israel we be come from a far country now therefore make ye a league with us now look what they did they, they trying to camouflage themselves that they came from a long way away when actually they came from down on Nashville Road and they just tried to make themselves look like they would see God you better help me in here many times the enemy gonna show up and he gonna try to look like he's supposed to be a part of what's going on and that's why I need some of y'all in here besides me to help me pray in this church because everything that show up over here is not for the church and for the preacher they come over here with an assignment and they look like it because they got on church clothes and they look like it because they got a collar on and they look like it because they got a Bible but they are a Hittite good God almighty I feel like hollering in here it's like they got a scheme in their life they didn't come over here to do good they came over here to sabotage everybody 
in here didn't come to help the community. They come over here for what they can get and what they can destroy. Mm. They come looking the part. They look like church folk. But Sister Bryant, they are not with us. They just sitting among us. Oh God, can I preach in here today? They not with us. They they didn't they didn't come for the right agenda, Emmanuel. They come over here to see what they can kill. Thank you, Jesus. And then yeah, yeah. And they're trying to get close to us. Be careful of who you let get close to you. Be careful. Yeah. Because they show up and they got a few little skills. Be careful. Yeah. They're trying to find a way in to try to wipe you out. Be careful. And every now and then, God, I can hear God saying, purge the whole place. Every now and then, you got to get rid of some stuff and some folk. Yes, Lord, I feel the Holy Ghost in here. Everybody speaking in tongues don't know God. Yeah, everybody in here, they trying to learn the heavenly language. Anybody can mock something, right? Yeah, just like you can learn to, 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 to do the wobble and, the, and the, you can learn to do the holy day. Y'all ain't going to help me in here. Wobble, wobble. Yeah. Yeah, the what is it, the twerk or the tweak or whatever y'all doing, whatever it is. If like you can learn that, you can learn how to mock somebody dancing. Look at your neighbor, tell them that's a Hivite spirit. Yeah, let me let me move on. I got three minutes here. I got three minutes. Woo! God help me in here. We need to, we need to, we need to, we need to find out the enemy is a deceptive rascal. And we need to walk in the natural with our spiritual selves and know what the enemy is up to. Know what he's doing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me give you, I got to go. Let me give you this other. There's another spirit called the Hittite. Yeah, it affects Christians. And here's the one that deals more with money matters than anything. As soon as you try to, to give, they will bring up all of the things of the reasons why you should not give. That's, that's, his, that's his job, to bring up all of the issues why you should not give anything. Let me give you the last one here. I got to go, I got to go. There's another spirit called the Amorite. This is a lying spirit. <laughs> Y'all know some of them folk, don't you? Yeah, this is, this is, a, this is a lying spirit. Yeah, they, they, they always, that they, they don't, see, a liar is, is not always just an outright liar. A liar is somebody to take parts of stuff. See, they, they tell partial truths. You with me? They tell partial. See, the enemy, the enemy, the, the devil had, had an Amorite spirit because he was, you remember when he took Jesus up on the mountain? He said, now, now, if you be him, then, then you got the power, you got the power to, to turn these stones into bread. And he was half right. He was. Jesus did have the power to turn them stones into bread. But he said, man shall not live by. Is that right? He said, if, if, you, if you are him, then that you can jump off this pinnacle and the angels will take care of you. He was half right because a psalm declared that the angels will have charge over you, guard you, keep you. Is that right? But that was not the charge. You, you don't have, he said, tempt not the Lord thy God. There's no reason for him to jump off no building to prove that God is God. He already know God is God. Why I got to prove something to you with your Amorite spirit self? Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, you ought to look down your row and see if you can see what kind of spirit is on your row. Yeah, don't call it out. Just, just look at it. The Lord will show it to you. Mm -hmm. this, this, and, and it might be an Amorite spirit. That spirit, that spirit, that spirit sows discord. That spirit sows discord. 
let me say that again church folk that spirit souls discord the one spirit that ought not be in the church is a spirit that sows discord you ought not be sitting nowhere in no little circle talking about nobody else having no conversation about if there's a problem I'm going to talk to Charlene I ain't talking to Taylor about Charlene I'm not going to talk to Yellow Day about Charlene I'm going to Charlene you understand if I got a problem it, it, the uh, Amorite spirit lets me go talk to Miss Burt about Charlene but but a, but a spirit of God says let me go to the source because what I'm thinking might not even be the case oh my God how many times have you been falsely accused because of partial information good God Almighty how, how, how often have folks sold stuff that was just part of the truth and, and then it spread amongst others and they sitting back looking at you based on partial truth somebody say that's an Amorite spirit and I, I, I came to let the devil know that, that, that listen the city is mine it belongs to me and you can cast and, and let me tell you the reason for all of these spirits y'all is to keep us out of the city there is, see, and as long as we allow that spirit to be dormant and lie in the church, it's going to keep us from our destiny. We are supposed to be walking in the land of Canaan. And the Jebusites are sitting at one door. And the Canaanites are sitting at another door. And the Amorites are sitting at another door. And the Jebusites are sitting at another door. And the problem is on the other side of them is our promise. But we're allowing them to stir up junk among us that keeps us from getting to our promise. But I came in here today to pull it down. I'm going to put on the whole armor of God so that I can stand against the wiles of the devil because we wrestle not against principalities. Oh, God, help me in the house. But there's some spiritual wickedness and some powers in high places and the church got to stop it. Amen. Y'all stand up before I holler in here today. I'm going to leave that alone. That's going to get me crazy in here. It's time to cast out some spirits. Can I get somebody in here to help me before we go to just call them spirits in the play and declare that you are a liar. Declare that you are a trickster. Declare that you're trying to deceive me. Declare that you're trying to, you're trying to trick me. But I came to let the devil know that the devil is a liar and Jesus is the Messiah I'm able to do all things oh my God amen let me leave that alone somebody just got freed up in here let me tell you how we're going to do it and we're going to go home I want everybody in here to plead the blood I know that's old fashioned plead the blood in this house plead the blood, plead the blood everybody plead it out of your mouth I plead the blood over my life. Plead the blood over my children. Plead the blood over my finances. Plead the blood over my house. Plead the blood over my child's school. Plead the blood over my, my car and my, plead the blood over my family and my friends. Plead the blood over my church. I plead the blood over my joy and my peace and my understanding. I plead the blood over everything that's connected to me. My wife is covered. Thank you, Jesus. My friends are covered. Thank you, God. Somebody in here, you got to call it down. Now, God, because we got the blood over it, we're declaring right now that things are coming our way. Blessings are getting ready to show up. Healings are getting ready to come into place. Oh, God, we plead the blood in the house. Somebody ought to declare no weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper hallelujah thank you lord whenever you get to that point to where you recognize who the enemies are then you don't have to worry about them anymore you club cover your own children cover your grandchildren maybe some of your children are grown but cover your grandchildren yeah we got to make sure that generations after us don't get wiped out in this stuff amen Amen. God bless you, Holy Ghost. We appreciate you today. Hallelujah. All right, all right. We're gonna we're closing this series. We're gonna be in next week. I want y'all to bring one person with you next week. I want to talk about how do you know how to love me? Yeah, how do you know that you're loving me right? 
That's going to cover a, that's going to cover a plethora of things. So I want you to bring somebody, bring somebody with you next. We're going to kick it at noon. We're going to kick it off at noon next Tuesday. Amen. Bring one person with you. We, we are, we are expecting God to do great things through that series. Reach and grab somebody. Let's pray together. Come finance group. Come finance team. Come finance team. Come on, Miss Ethel, Miss Bird. Grab somebody by the hand. Grab somebody by the hand as we pray. Father, I adore you today. And I got my hand lifted upon these your people. And I need you to cover everything that they do. I need you today, God, to at the name of Jesus that cast out the ites in their lives. Anything that's going to block them or deter them from that next space and destiny for their lives, their children's lives, their grandchildren's lives. Anything that's connected to us, God, we want you to make it good. I understand now why the Canaanites, the Amorites, the Jebusites, Hittites, Hivites want to connect because they see the Spirit of God on us and they want what we have. But Lord, I declare right now that better days are even going to be ahead of us and everything that's trying to block our path, we pull it down now. We pull strongholds down in our personal lives, in our finances, in our spiritual lives, in our mental lives, in our physical being, in our sickness, in our bodies, we pull it down right now. And we declare and claim right now that you are God and you're not going to allow anything to happen to us. The land is flowing with milk and honey and we are ready to step over into our promised land. And we thank you because now we realize that it's already ours. Now we have to go in and possess it. Bless this seed that we have, God, as a part of that, as a part of that. Bless this seed that we have today as a part of that next level of life. Use it for the building of your kingdom, the spreading of the gospel, but also, God, let it come back into our personal lives. At 3960, we need a hundredfold blessing. God, bless the food that we have. Let it be nourishment for our bodies. We claim it now. And the hand that I hold, I declare is blessed. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Don't forget to bring your seed. Don't eat your seed. Don't eat your seed. Amen.